Welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back, it's welcome fantastic back. Fridays, New Start 93 FM. Yes, we're still in the segment called Talk the Thing with Kim, mm-hmm. and we are discussing the topic, are arguments healthy for your relationships? Yeah. So, so far, we've highlighted that, yeah, arguments are actually healthy. They can, can mean, yeah. make you bond stronger. It helps you to trust your partner more. Yes, I know it sounds weird, mm-hmm. but it depends on how you deal with your arguments. Yeah. Because for most people, we're not recovering from argue, arguments properly. We're not really getting over stuff. So we drop it because we just can't bother argue. Yeah. But are you really dealing with it? And as we said earlier, you might just be compounding an issue. So you already have an issue. You're not really let it go. So you already reach 40% annoyance when you're going at any future argument. So even if it's a small argument, you're going to blow it out of proportion because you're adding on to our previous argument. So, I think one of the things we need to consider, how do you know if an argument is really resolved? Right. Some we, people tell you, so we drop it, you know, I ain't really resolved. Pencil up. So, so that no add on to That's another honesty topic. that is needed mm-hmm. to ensure, say... We're done. For yeah, two. when they tell me, so the argument drop, because that's one thing we are guilty of. Mm. We might tell you, say, yeah, man, you're a good man. And they say, yeah, sure, you're mm-hmm. right. Yeah, man, everything gravy. Yeah. Everything good, but you know you have freedom and everything good, man. You know what's that problem. Right? But mm-hmm. then it's not really good. And then anything I do going forward is going to be blown out of proportion. And then me, I go feel like, wait, what up? Everything we do is a problem. I'm sure we've heard those arguments. Yep. Everything we do is a problem because we're compounding issues, right? Yeah. So, Tiffy said, <laughs> we're too nice. I'm like it. Talks. Oh, yeah. All right. Talks. You know my beard this morning, Tiffy? I'm beautiful. I think I'm a beard myself of two times. I'm beautiful. That's <laughs> true. All right. So another thing is arguing brings a moment of relief. Mm. Sound weird, don't it? Well, for true, because sometimes, basically, sometimes when you're arguing, you kind of get something off of your chest. Yes. So, whew. Who takes your food food? No, nobody. <laughs> Let's not argue. Are, are people out there saying this? I don't know. <laughs> Right? I'll talk to you after the show. <laughs> but in the early parts for relationship, couples tend to ignore many unusual or different issues about their partner. Mm-hmm. Since the relationship is still new, it is only normal to watch while things unfold. Eventually, fights in a relationship erupt, and that's when you hear many surprising facts from your partner. Mm-hmm. So, never hear, and I've literally, I don't think I've ever been in an argument like this, but. You ever hear like some extreme comment and you're like, hold on, you thought this this whole time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like every time yeah. it, 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 your head back looks so, what? Yeah. <laughs> Why yeah. you remember head back? Yeah. Like yeah. all along you had an is- issue with exactly. my head back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? I literally have heard like some ridiculous of things. Course. Yeah. It's all about washing up the dishes and then, boy, I mean, I, I, you, you just, you just start up in the kitchen, so I know I don't know with your not me them. Like, what? Why you like my not me? Was that a problem? Yep. I thought you said you loved all yeah. of me. Yeah. <laughs> so it happens, people. It happens. Right? So you realize over time that the truth then comes out. Mm-hmm. So that's how we think arguments are actually healthy as well. Because most times when you, when you're heated, when you're in a heated discussion, you really are going to talk your mind. Yes, yeah. You're not going yeah. to filter. You're not going to try to say, you know what? Mm, let me see how best we can say this. Something that's sound away. No, you're going to sound away. Because mm-hmm. you're trying to argue. And when you argue, most people are trying to hurt. Or we're trying to win. We want to have the better point. Or we want to, you know, beat you at this or whatever. So, as Tiffy said, yeah, that's true. It helps you vent more and get things off your mind. So, yes, it does bring a moment of relief, right? So, for example, you might have been making your partner uncomfortable with, let's say, farting. <laughs> yes, I said wow. it. <laughs> okay, okay. Sometimes, healthy arguing brings out these issues. So, probably, you know, you know, the early relationship, you know, you yeah, drop some bomb. And if not, say nothing, after, you know. After, after this, anyway, continue. <laughs> what are we going to put it? Continue. Mm-hmm. You're, 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 let, you're releasing some flatulence. Yeah. That's not very pleasant mm-hmm. when it comes to odor yeah right but if i fall in love she a fall in love say nothing say nothing right <laughs> love is in the air love is in the air Fight along, in the along with the same Fight in the set. <laughs> and love is winning <laughs> right yeah but one day named day the love nugget in an ear like one time and they still right. love each other you know yeah but, but in a bit in a bit less mm. I, I don't know if infatuated is the word i want to use right no, now let, the energy is less <laughs> the energy is a bit less because it's, not more, as, it's yeah. more controlled yeah. and they're not as lovey dovey you know a bit mm. more realistic you now yeah. than the actions but now you're more intentional about mm. your relationship but at that point no you're gonna say well then 
think mm. I need to go to the doctor, you know. Yeah. But what I've been farting all this time and right. you've never thought that nope, something dead. <laughs> something dead. <laughs> and then no, she can say, eh, I want a something as some other woman make you start call up because clearly it wasn't a problem before so why is it a problem now or if it's line and language so you know i think my organ acting up yes that is an example <laughs> that, that is it if your partner is definitely dropping bombs they need to check out their organ there's an organ I need check to out check. your organ <laughs> definitely i agree Right, so as I said, that's something that somebody probably won't highlight in the early parts right. of the relationship. But yeah. when you start getting when used get to each other closer and, and trust comfy each other. Yeah. and run certain jokes, I would have run at the beginning and then something that you start, you know, these things start come out. Yeah. Which I think is a true relationship, right? Yeah, man. The early stages are just fun and games. I'm happy go lucky. So, ironically, the next line says, Similarly, your partner feels like a huge load has been, <laughs> lifted, has been lifted off their shoulder. Well. <laughs> instead of ignoring no. Mm-hmm. Instead of ignoring no, they mm-hmm. will make sure they can start calling your attention to many things. Okay. Also, you will become comfortable actually returning the same gesture yeah. so you're no m- more honest you know babe mm-hmm. we don't mean to tell you anything you wear look good funny you know but yeah. i don't really say gonna shirt that mm-hmm. that look like when you're a teenager that shirt that you used to wear put on the shirt now yeah you know you start being a bit more honest so at first oh my god you look good yeah everything you look good i everything like it yeah good. and then all of a sudden no yeah yeah that's all of a sudden you start finding something more you know say, boy that shoes that you mm. can't put on no still you know oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> everywhere i want super so. everywhere yeah, we're the one slippers yeah right yeah. so these are the things that start coming out but guess what they can they can they can actually still be healthy fights. Yeah, they're working healthy out for the better because you're learning about each because other. Because guess what? Now you know, then fine, they say, you can't put on the shoes. You mm. can't put on the shoes. And if your partner really a work from the relationship, yeah. then give something for replace it too. Mm-hmm. You know what, like, babe? You know what? I got these for you. I realize that so the shoes are my left your road. Mm-hmm. I mean, no really want left your road. I mean, I, you know, more level up your thing. Cause, you know, you represent me. I want us to be the bomb, you know? Uh, but I really don't really like using bomb after the conversation we had. <laughs> but... Tell you. If you if your partner really check for you know or is able to do that, they might even come with a pair of shoes and say, "Babe, yeah. put on that." I mean, you see, how everyone should go in the one black bag because exactly. it's a black bag. Say so we're with enough so things, it, it, so you yeah. get her a second bag. So you get her a second bag. Say, hey, so switch it up sometimes. Yeah, or we know say favorite color blue. Yeah. We know blue and I really go with everything. Mm. But I thought of you when I saw this. Then mm. something they make a difference, you know? Right? Same way, so. Same way, so. So that's one thing, and as as said earlier, when you get whatever is bothering you off your chest, yeah. So for example, the organ that caused the farts to smell a certain way, right. and you go start to check it out, and then all is right in the world, you know, the farts start smell more normal. Then you start mm-hmm. feeling better. There's a moment of relief. Definitely, I can be around both you more often. And the nostrils, yeah. Exactly, I can be around you more often. We can't stop an excuse for left, <laughs> right? Yeah. So yeah, just things to consider. A next point is arguing allows you to know each other more. There you go, see that? Because the things you argue about is basically expressing more of who the true you is. Mm-hmm. So say for example, you are you you're not somebody like going out a lot. Right. When you start if I never know that before, when they start arguing about it, make them more understand. Say, so, you mm-hmm. know, say Kim a bit more introverted, realize that Kim sort of low key. Yeah. So that may have been something you knew in the first couple of months i could have just yeah, been in very months, yeah. energetic because you know, you're, you're trying to give out your best so you exactly. go like extra miles so you're probably a party like whoa i'm saying no more mm. i'm like me you know so make yeah. a party like whoa but sure, you're not going to yeah. do it because yeah. you want to you just want to be you want to, to impress yeah. yeah and you want to spend time together exactly so, yeah. but eventually over time you, if that's genuinely not you you know you can't maintain that yeah so one and two time i said baby make a touch road now you said boy go on without me probably the second time every day i go road so every day and eventually you know you start look point so every day i go road even though that's the person you met right that's what they liked but you start create a problem out of it so now you understand the person a bit more you're like all right babe not really like touch road now mm-hmm. or babe not like aki you know or babe you know whatever the differences are you learn about each other more or even the thought process yeah. So sometimes when they argue, you know, how somebody argue, let me know you th- how you yeah, think. Yeah, you can't, yeah, from, yeah, because you see what things they look at and what things exactly. they, they focus on, yeah. Whether them petty, mm-hmm. whether it's okay, you probably have your point, but you probably not, don't know how to really express it. Right. Or you might just be somebody where just hold back. You just don't really say what you really want to say and use jokes and stuff to get it out there, you know? So it does actually help you to know each other more. Yeah. Another tip or another way 
that arguments can be healthy is that arguing increases love. What? No one is so like like. No one <laughs> <laughs> um, baby, I'm arguing with you because, because I, I want to grow you. in love. Yeah, I want to turn up the love. So let's <laughs> argue right now. Uh, DJ MV Stone said, Kim the comedian. Yes, Big yes, up no the worry. resident traveling DJ. No worry, make a work for it. Make a work for the, the, the first show yeah. that I'll have. Mm-hmm. Right? But yeah, arguing increases love. Yeah. Right? After every healthy fight, you can't just help but love your... And bear in mind, we say healthy, healthy yeah, fight. the good one. After yeah. every healthy fight, and it doesn't, a good fight doesn't mean... Or a good argument yeah. doesn't <laughs> mean that, oh, baby, I don't like when you wear that. So just don't wear that anymore. Okay, baby, I won't wear this anymore. No, that's not what we're saying. Well, it could be, but... Speak, no, because some people... That. No, I love you more. No, mm. I love you more. Uh, no, I love you. And then people say that's a healthy fight. That's no. not a healthy fight. No, it, well, that's not a healthy it's, argument. It's, it's, yeah. You can't do it, no, 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 so don't do it, no. But that's not what we're talking about, yeah. is a healthy argument, right? But if you deal with an argument properly, we'll have our discussion, I'm going to hear your side, you hear my side, and then we work together on a solution. Either we can fix it, or we're going to work on it over time. Because some habits, you don't change cold turkey. No. You know, I get to tomorrow, Chicago and all of a sudden, you're brand new. You know, so we work together, and we say, boy, all right, babe, I'm probably not going to sit overnight, but you say, every time going forward, just make sure you point. I remember... I was dating somebody once and he told me, whenever you go to the car, if I don't open the door for you, just stand up there. <laughs> he literally told me that. All he right. said, just stand up there. Mm-hmm. And I said, all right, cool. And he was very consistent for a while. Every single time in a touch door. Yeah. And then one day, forget God, we are talking, you know, and go feed him door. We just stand up. Yeah, all right. And it was look for me and it's room come roll because he gave me that rule and I followed that rule. Nice. Right? So it's it's not that he's gonna basically change over time or it's gonna be perfect, but you can set something in place. Like yeah, right, going us, forward. You know. If me do that again, mm-hmm. just look for me. Or just, you know, you may not have to argue, you know, but you, you give them a cue that you remember that, hey, do this if you realize me still do that. Yeah. And it works. And then, you know, you can be nice with the thing. I look a kiss on the, the cheek. Yes. But say, mm, remember the dishes. Mm. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Not an argument, you know? So if you already go through the argument part already. So now you find ways to avoid that next time. Yeah. Exactly. So yes, it can increase love. It might feel like the fights in a relationship happen for just five minutes, but you miss them more for minutes after that. Conflicts are essential to strengthen the intimacy in a relationship. So it's true. After yeah. you have a rough situation, there is a bond that you develop when you overcome it. It's like, oh my God, we're arguing yesterday. What were you arguing for? And then, <laughs> and then the thing is, Kim, you know, really and truly, I mean, relationships are such a dynamic thing. Yeah. Because here you are, the person you like, mm-hmm. yeah, you're having an argument. So basically, you are, something is upsetting you. It's supposed to divide right? you, yeah. So something is upsetting you, which makes you kind of not fully happy. Mm-hmm. But then now, this something is taking you away from the lovey dovey yes, of, of the, the partner and the relationship. Mm-hmm. So that is saddening you. So you just want to up and try to fix one so you can get to the other. So, you know, once you overcome now, you just want to get back together and you just... just and it makes it closer yeah, because oh, guess what? You guys achieved we something that together. Time, yeah. We worked on it together. Yeah. And we're like, yeah, we could have done this. We're a power couple, man. Can we actually work through that? And you start to feel closer. You start to feel more confident in the person. You start to trust the person more clear. You know, know that issues now are really separated. It depends yeah. probably on the intensity of the issue. But look at things now are split yeah. because clearly we don't know how to work through it together. True. So it increased love and you're like, all right, you know what? I really like how this person considered me in the middle of the fight. I, st- I really like how they could have cost a beer cloth, but they did not. They kept it professional. Okay, okay, okay. They kept it, you know? So even in that, those are yeah. the things that you need to appreciate because you know, I know some people will say, listen, if I cost you a cost, if you're going to curse expletives, we're not talking right now. When you're done with that, we'll talk. That is respect. Yeah, Even in the midst of anger, that's respect. People think that, oh, you can't curse. Um, No. It's a word. It's a you, Anybody can do it. The no. fact that somebody does not do it shows that they can Rest- control exactly. and they can restrain themselves. Exactly. Not that them can't speak words. And I can admire that. In the, so even though I'm upset, mm-hmm. I can say, you know, so babe, really, as yeah, much as... maintain some but, level of... Him, they still respect me. And those yeah. little things help you to develop that love and enhance that love. Mm-hmm. Carter said, Kim, it's time to quit your nine to five and become a relationship counselor. A you relationship know, Carter, I'd guru. Really do it. 
<laughs> I would really do it. I really would so love doing it. Mm. I like helping people and guiding people. As yeah. y'all know by now. Because that's why I do this. All right. But if she came now, if she, if she, if she do it, no, if Kimmy do it, she have got left that work here at, at, <laughs> at Fantastic Friday. Car. <laughs> I skip cover at that where people have business. So, <laughs> no, I'm not that. But very just, confidential. I'm, I'm jo- exactly. I'm just joking. I'm just but joking. But very confidential. Oh, but yes. So it does increase love. Arguing also allows you to be yourself because you get to talk what's on your mind. Yeah. It shows your partner. Arguing shows your partner is different. So it also reveals the differences that yeah, you have. Yeah, you think sometimes you think so, I just want to people, people stay. grow together. All yeah. of it will grow the same yeah. way. Especially because we're, you know, we're black people and, and we're Jamaican. And, and we have, exactly. So mm-hmm. we think we're all the same. But then you realize that, listen, as we said earlier, we spread the bed differently. Mm-hmm. Some people pour the milk before the cereal. Some pour yeah. the cereal before the milk. There you go. And we consider one to be, you know, psychotic. <laughs> Stuff like that. Some people so, keep the ketchup on the counter. Mm-hmm. Some put the ketchup in the fridge. Exactly. Some people don't drink juice with them dinner. Some believe some me not eat my dinner without me drink juice. There juice after the day upon the table. Uh-huh. Right? Stuff like that. So, if you realize through arguments the ways that we are different, probably you not really be, not a big saver. One probably just spend through, boy, as payday come, me for broth. I for do at least one thing for myself and somebody else. Your partner might be like, babe, look for save, saving, yeah. you know, make, make we develop a goal. Make we say, all right, well, work towards a place together. How are we going to get there, you know? So, it highlights the differences. And this, I think, most time is the thing that separates us. But guys, being different from each other doesn't mean the relationship not gonna work. Because it's expected that you're going to be different. We are two different personalities with two different mindsets, with two different upbringing, yeah. two different family background, two diff- all of that. Uh, two different parish, two different country more time, right? So you're gonna have differences. Differences don't mean that, okay, we're not the same person, so we can't be together. Right. It's how we're going to work around the differences. Are the differences that different that it can ruin us? Like, I think a major difference can be religion. Yeah. If you have an atheist and a Christian, yeah, although some, some, yeah. some make it work. Some make it work, but let's put it out there. The but so, a lot of people be like, no, I can't be with somebody who don't believe in God, which is fair. Because if you know, say, you make God the center of your life and your partner, Every time you, you say God, they might take themselves or they can't join in certain things. Then fine. That's a big difference. Yeah. But a small difference as in, okay, I pour milk first before my cereal. You can't work with that. And whenever I'm making your cereal, I'm going to do that for you. Yeah. Mine are for my cereal, but I understand that that's how you like it. And then like that it. would be good too. Exactly. Know? I'm realizing, boy, you don't like your egg too runny, you know. I, or you like the egg runny, so I'm not my interest in the yolk not get too firm because babe like when they egg runny. So you just basically work around your differences. And that lets your partners know that I see you. Yeah, and I understand you and I'm here for you. Oh. As Curtis said, and I love this line, even twins are different. Exactly. That is perfect. Perfect Ta-da! example. Even, even identical twins even are different. Ide- and even, no matter them identical, they're still a difference. Still a difference. Still a difference. One so, like coffee, mm-hmm. one like tea. Or even it's just a physical difference. So they're very identical, but mm. there's a slight thing. Yeah. Because when I look at tea and Tamira, they really look alike, but then I can tell Tamira yeah. differently. Yeah. You know, so... It, I think Tamir have a mole as well One don't have So right. everybody has yeah, something that makes them yeah. unique right? So it shows how different How your differences uh, Basically affect the relationship Or how different you are Arguing as we said earlier Makes you a better person And guess what Arguing creates memories I don't want to call that one so <laughs> Memories, that are memories Delete that well. You don't have to delete because you need the information from it. But it can be. You, call it you remember that time that almost broke us? We don't want to Look that. at us today. Look at TVJ. Look at <laughs> us now. <laughs> no, well, I understand it can call, um, create memories, but yes. I guess the memory would be how we got through Over, it. Yeah, it's yeah. not about boy. Well, I tell you to remember. I tell you, show tough. Are you telling me some look like so and so? No, that is not what yeah, we're not talking that part about. Right, Oh, we're talking about how we overcome it. You remember the time when, boy, yeah, you, it's like we just I was upset so disconnected. and you came in and you made everything yeah, and right. And I just felt like we just yeah. didn't understand each other, but we worked on it. Mm-hmm. And look where we are now. Look we're probably where we married are. now with two kids. And, you know, stuff like that. It sh- it, you, you can think back and be like, yo, that was a rough season, but we made it. Yeah. And we're still here. And it was probably meant to break us, but we won. You know, something yeah. like that. So it actually does and can 
give you good memories. Yeah. Okay. You know, because most people, I, I've actually heard them say, boy, you know, boy, there's a time when I didn't think we were going to make it, but just look at us now. There you go. <laughs> there you go. And arguments, or arguing also shows that you care for each other. Yeah. Sounds weird, right? Yeah. But when your par- when, when your partner complains to you about something, mm-hmm. it is a sign that they want you to adjust and become a better person. So it's not like they might try to create problem, you know. Mm-hmm. They want this relationship to work. So they're voicing their concerns so we can work on it so we can last. Because if these issues stay, chances are we're not going to work out. Right. right? But me bringing up an issue to you means that, you know, I want you want to get yeah. a chance for work on it so we can be better. Yeah. Right? So it does actually show that you care for each other. And then just like you said with setting boundaries, um, um, bringing these things to your partner is basically letting them know, I would want you to be in my life still. Mm-hmm. You know, we just want to sort out this. You know, but if you never want to be in them life, you're not busy about it. Oh, you know, let me tell him, say, you know, like this, because in our day anyway. You get what I'm saying? Exactly. So, exactly. Yeah. So you have to, because most people, I think when they join relationships now, mm-hmm. they have one foot in, one foot out. Exactly. So they're in it, you know, but they're mm-hmm. like, you know, just in case. Yeah. Make sure we're not too committed, but that's not going to work. Yeah. You have to be all in. Yeah, relationships are a risk, but if you're going to do it, just do it properly and done, right? Definitely. So to conclude, is arguing good in a relationship? Yes. As long as you have a healthy fight or a healthy argument occasionally, there is a high possibility that your relationship will stand the test of time. Healthy arguing comprises arguments and intense discussions geared at improving each other. All right. So, so guys, thanks for listening. There you have it, folks. That's it for Talk the Thing with Kim. Stay safe and tune in next week. Have a fantastic weekend. News Talk. <laughs> <laughs>